So a great triple set here, guys, uh, for the biceps. So you can see right here, I'm actually doing a behind head concentration curl first with an easy bar. I'm using a close grip to help emphasize the outer head of my biceps. And then I'm gonna go straight to a squatted barbell curl, uh, another concentration curl here. So just using my knees as a guide. And I'm just keeping it pretty standard here, doing eight to 10 reps. So with our member program, we always switch up the rep ranges and add a lot of specialty sets like this into the workouts. Um, and then I'm gonna go straight into dumbbell curls, which is a hammer style, alternating uh, eight reps, eight to 10 reps with each arm. So that's just a quick little combo and a great example of something that I use to help shock my system. Um, keep training hard, guys. Keep training smart. So this is gonna be a triple set for the bicep. So first I'm starting off with easy bar curls, just standing straight up vertical leaning forward slightly into the movement. So I'll be doing eight to 10 reps here first, and then I'll switch immediately to reverse curls here. So palms down now, elbows just staying to the sides of my body. And this is gonna hit more of the brachialis and the outer head of the biceps. And then after eight to 10 reps, I'm gonna go straight into close grip, squatted curls here. So my elbows are on the inside of my knees and just flexing on top, getting that contraction, eight to 10 reps, that's gonna complete one set, and then I'll repeat this maybe three or four sets. All right guys, so I'm starting this off with a seated cable concentration curl. So this is a close grip on an easy bar. So I'm really focusing on slow negatives and the contraction on top for a few seconds, okay? And I'm doing this on a seated cable row machine. Okay, so the cable is going to be elevated slightly. I'm supersetting this with lying down cable curls. So I'm using that same bench and I'm doing eight reps on both. Um, with this exercise, I'm slightly pushing my elbows forward a little bit because that cable's a little bit higher. And this is going to allow me to really focus on contracting and focusing on the peaks instead of a different part of the bicep. So let me know how this works for you. And like always, focus on that quality. Talk to you guys soon. All right guys, this is a great compound set for the biceps. So you can see right here, doing something a little bit different. I'm actually lying on the floor, um, which just gives a different feel for isolation, isolating the biceps here. Um, and I'm just tucking my elbows into the sides of my body, not trying to use any momentum uh, or swing that weight, okay? And then I'm gonna be following this up with seated concentration cable curl. So I'm using the same exact weight. You can see right here, I'm actually slightly leaning back to enhance the contraction and I'm keeping my elbows lifted up to really work the outer head of my bicep, guys. So try it out, shock the muscles, and keep switching things up, guys. Don't stop working hard. All right, guys, check out this cool hammer curl combo. I'm first starting off with eight reps with both arms, and you can see I'm actually slightly flaring out my arms or basically externally rotating my shoulders slightly, and this kind of helps work the inner head of the biceps. Okay, so a little variation there on the angle. Um, then after the eight reps here, I'm gonna shift to going across my body. Okay, so a little internal rotation. Uh, five reps with each arm, okay, so right after that. And this is just a little bit of a shocker specialty set that we use in our membership program as well. So um, just bringing the dumbbells across the body helps work the outer head of the biceps. And uh, just give it a try, guys, and let me know how it goes. All right, guys, try this superset bicep combo. So right here, I'm doing single arm reverse preacher curl, okay? 10 reps with each arm, and I'm focusing on my pinky rotating towards the ceiling in order to get a really deep contraction on the peak of my biceps, okay? After 10 reps with each arm, I'm supersetting this with inclined static hammer curls here. And you can see my chest is down on a bench. Bench is about 70 degrees, and I'm doing 10 reps with each arm as I'm holding one arm up at a time, okay? So basically using the bench for more isolation, just getting a different feel, adding that variety factor that we always talk about into the training to continue progress and break through plateaus, guys. So I'm repeating this for four sets, and that's it. So I'm starting off this bicep cable combo with seven reps on my right arm. Okay, and you can see right here, I'm just focusing on a medium speed then I'm going seven reps on my left arm. 
okay? And then after I do seven reps on the left arm, I'm doing seven reps with each arm. So right arm, left arm is one rep. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that for seven reps. And then I'm gonna end this combo with seven reps on both arms, okay? And that's gonna complete one set. So I'm doing this as a bicep finisher for some workouts. Um, try it out, let me know how it goes. Like always, focus on the quality before quantity. So here is phase one of the rope curl. It's gonna be eight reps with the palms facing up and that rope is separated through these eight reps, okay? The rope does not touch together and I do not twist my hands down, okay? So my palms stay up throughout, throughout these first eight reps. Phase number two, I'm gonna be transitioning to a neutral grip, so it's gonna be like a normal hammer curl. However, those, the rope does not touch together even at the bottom of the movement, okay? So eight reps again, right here. And then we're gonna go into phase three, which is gonna be a concentration hammer curl. It's gonna be a lot different. Um, even if you feel fatigued, you're gonna be able to hit this, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing is flaring my elbows out and pushing that rope together for eight reps at the end. That's gonna complete the three phase combo for this rope rope uh, specialty set that I was talking to you guys about, okay? And this is really gonna help shock the nervous system into further growth and gains if you feel like you're plateauing. So this is a pretty wicked bicep superset if you have any free weight. So I'm doing incline dumbbell curls here, eight repetitions on an incline bench. Um, I'm just making sure I'm really focusing on pointing my elbows down as I'm curling this weight up, okay? Because you want to limit shoulder activation with these exercises. Um, so like I said, if you have any pair of dumbbells and a bench, even at home, great superset to use to shock the biceps. Then I'm just going to flip right over and do dumbbell spider curls on that same bench. Um, once again, we're not trying to use our shoulders, so we're limiting the shoulder mobility, right? So we can isolate our biceps even more. All right, so just focus on the contraction, get a good squeeze, and then you can always increase the weight later. All right, guys? All right, guys, we're going to be starting off this bicep preacher workout with a dumbbell preacher curl here. So it's going to be three exercises in a row. Eight reps with the first exercise. And then we're going to be following each exercise after that with eight reps as well. So this is the second exercise we're going to go right into is hammer preacher curls. Okay, we're just going to switch the grip. Getting that full extension and full contraction without hitting these dumbbells together. And last but not least, we're going to hit the reverse preacher curl and alternate arms for eight reps with each arm. That completes one set. I'm going to rest two minutes and then repeat this for four sets to complete the Dumbbell Preacher Bicep Workout. All right, guys, let me know how it goes for you. Focus on that quality and that squeeze.